Hey guys, this is my digital alarm clock. Uh, it works off of uh, four seven segment displays. Um, now some of you might be wondering why there isn't a fifth and sixth seven segment display to display the hour. Well, that's because this actually runs off of in-game time. So right here we've got in-game minutes, and over here we've got in-game hours, and then right down here we've got AM and PM. Um, I haven't actually decided which one of these is which, uh, but I guess for the sake of this video we'll say this black one is uh, PM. It's about 12 o'clock noon. Alright, so the clock is fully programmable. Uh, you just gotta flip this switch and wait for it to respond. It actually takes a little while because uh, I've designed the circuit to take the worst case propagation delay uh, throughout the wires. And I've added that to every single wire, so everything uh, runs the way it's supposed to. So you can advance it by hour. Um, this should roll over to 1, 120, we'll go 130, 230, 330, 430. Alright, so let's actually go up to um, 640 and start the clock. Now, over here, I've got um, my alarm signal, which actually is set to go off at 1 o'clock, so the alarm was at 6, about 7, so let's bring this up to uh, about 8.30. There we go. That was actually set to 8.30. Mind you, I just switched over before I had a chance to update. Did I say 6.30? I meant 8.30. Anyway, um, this is my alarm circuit. It's actually pretty basic. We've got the alarm signal coming in here, and we've got a little clock there to make it trip. You could actually probably throw an RS latch on here so that you could put a snooze button on it. Um, so that you had to hit the snooze button after the alarm was tripped. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I'll uh, wait for the alarm to go off and then I'll set up a uh, time lapse of the clock running along with uh, the sun and the moon rotating around. Yeah, that was the alarm. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching.